Okay, so this first one, um, I've been working on a series of poems surrounding the uh, murder of my mother's stepsister. Um, it happened in 1988, so I was about two years old. But I've kind of been going back and researching and just kind of trying to figure out what happened and just exploring it and um, just thinking about it in various ways. So this is uh, one of the poems that is related to that. Um, this is called, The First Time I Heard This Story, I Didn't Understand. So, the first time I heard this story, I didn't understand. I pictured the man who did it. His hair, white and wispy, like a cloud of smoke. He was smoking a cigarette. A pink plastic ashtray sat in his lap. A smattering of butts piled up amongst the ash. His skin was wrinkled, grayish, almost elephant-like. There were no tubes in his nose, but he had a hacking cough. No teeth to speak of. A continuous dribble of jewel fell from his cracked lips. His hands, though, they were strong. Fingers nimble as they gripped the wheels of his wheelchair. How else, I reasoned, could he have followed you home? How else could he have shot you down? People who are sick can't walk like the rest of us. 